Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And we have a question today that is interesting, um, and I think that it's worth answering. And it's about the fact that in the business side of things, in enterprise, when you go on a PC, you might have noticed that if you are a little curious or have seen logos or anything, that almost everything in enterprise works with Intel CPUs. And of course, AMD CPUs are compatible, are capable, and are you know out there, and they, they would do the job for the most part. But why is it that we see very little AMD, if almost none, well, it's a question of perception. A um, PC, you know, Intel was what started pretty much the PC. And for a long time, it was the only brand that was really available. And there were some other CPU brands that came over time. Uh, some of you might remember Cyrix processors. Uh, and of course, AMD came into the market and um, the, for a long time, the biggest problem was that, for the most part, Intel processors were better. They often were faster for a long time. And mostly, mostly, they actually were much more stable. Uh, Ryzen CPUs, you know, for a long time, uh, not Ryzen, but AMD CPUs for a long time. I was a tech guy, I can tell you that. And uh, in the early 2000s, I would not recommend AMD CPUs and PCs for a simple reason. Every time something was going wrong with the CPU or the motherboard, it was almost always on AMD CPUs. The fans were actually bad. They were not big. There, is, you know, there, there, there was less value. There was less, um, if, if you want, um, quality. Uh, coming out of AMD, even though uh, their processors were good, there is more overeating uh, also with AMD uh, processors back in the day. So when you go through times like this and you have a value, you know that you know if you buy something with Intel, it usually is a good quality product. Um, you know there are exceptions to the rule with a couple of generations that were. Uh, released lately, but overall, um, PCs for enterprise will pretty much, for a long time to come, still be uh, almost always Intel when they purchase, simply for the perception of a better quality product. Now, the AMD Ryzen CPUs are way, way, way better than the AMD uh, processors of the past, and I do have two AMD PCs here. I would never purchase an AMD machine in the past today i have no hesitation as they are very very good but that perception of intel that always been you know good better and and so on there's also another uh thing that could be um the reason is that a lot of enterprise software is customized for the needs of that business for whatever um, you know, service uh, that they actually do. And they will often have been optimized for Intel CPUs by the way they work. So there is, in some case, an extra value, uh, extra speed, performance of software that has been optimized for Intel, as even though they are the same kind of architecture, the AMD and the Intel CPUs themselves differ in several ways. So it's, but I would say 99% of why people enterprise buy Intel machines is really perception. Intel has always been a good value, a great value, and uh, always been, you know, a, uh, a stable machine. And you know, you got something good. So um, that's where AMD will probably have for time to come, uh, still a hard time getting through and being adopted in the enterprise. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.